All right, Shalom. This is the brothers from the GMS North Carolina came back for another video. Before we go any further, we have all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rakar Kodash. Double honor to our apostles. And oh, there's a great millstone for teaching us the truth according to the Bible who rule well. And peace and blessings to those elect of the nation of Israel. Hey, look, today, this spring probably out by Shabbat Shai, we got a lesson prepared. Basically, going to, you know, now is the time to get this wisdom, you know. You get Proverbs 4 and 7 said that. Now is the time to get the proper understanding of the scriptures. Why? Because when our hoes break loose, this wisdom is what's going to be able to keep you stable, you know. Okay. This is Proverbs chapter. Four verse seven. Mm -hmm. All right. This is Proverbs chapter four verse seven. Wisdom is the principal thing. Mm -hmm. If brothers look up that word principal, it means like first, chief, most important. You know. Go ahead. There. Go ahead. Therefore, get wisdom. Concept. Wisdom is an important thing to get. So get wisdom. You know. Go ahead. Get the wisdom, knowledge, understanding of the scriptures. Go ahead. And with all that getting. Get understanding. And with all that getting, you gotta get understanding. With all the um, wisdom, uh, you know, that you find out, you gotta get the understanding of it, you know? Like when the Lord says, don't eat pork, don't take the, the shellfish and lobsters out of the ocean and don't eat those things, you gotta get the understanding why the Lord told you not to do that, you know? Because, you know, you can get gout, high blood pressure. And also those animals that were put into the ocean, why? To clean the ocean, you know? To take care of it. That's just a small example. But, um, give me Surat 6 and 35. Okay. Because we're coming at some terrible times. And now is the time to get the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the scripture, you know? Before it's too late. Surat 36 and what? No, I'm sorry, 6 and 35. Okay. It's a Surat chapter 6, verse 35. Be, but, it's like it, be not slow to visit the sick, for that shall make thee to be beloved. It's Surat I'm 6. sorry. Yeah, right 30, here. 35. You're on truck 7. It's a Surat. Chapter 6, verse 35. Mm -hmm. Be willing to hear every godly discourse. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. And let not the parables of understanding escape thee. Yep, it says be willing to hear every godly discourse. And let not the parables of understanding escape thee, you know. So what, you need to be watching videos. You got to be watching the breakdown of the scriptures. You gotta be getting the breakdowns by the correct teachers, you know, start with our apostles and elders, a great millstone, and the men on down who teach this word in sincerity and truth, you know? Read that one more time, Bob Kishaw. This is Sirach, chapter 6, verse 35. Be willing to hear every godly discourse. Mm, it says you gotta be willing, though, so you gotta be willing in this thing, you know? I'm talking to myself first and foremost, you know, if you want to get the wisdom, knowledge, understanding the scripture, you gotta be willing, you know, you gotta put your time into it, yeah, um, put time to get this wisdom, you know, because all hell breaks loose, but this wisdom is what's gonna be able to keep us stable in that time, when the time with Jacob's trouble. Good. And let not the parables of understanding escape thee. Mm hmm, because with all that getting, you gotta get understanding, you know can't let those parables that the, the apostles and elders and the elder brothers around the world bring out and break down to, you know? Those things are going to be key, uh, very crucial in the time of Jacob's trouble, you know? We're, this wisdom is what's separate, separating us from these heathens and two-thirds of our people, you know? This wisdom is what's going to um, uphold us in that day, you know? Trusting in the Lord, trusting in Yahweh Shema Shai and having faith in His name. You can get um, any more than that? That's it. Uh, reverse 36. Kind. And if thou seest a man of understanding, mm -hmm. 
get the be times unto him. Yeah, you gotta go early to him, you know, before the destruction. Go ahead. And let thy foot wear the steps of his door. Mm hmm. I mean, you constantly, um, you know, constantly at his house, you're constantly, you know, watching videos, waiting for him to upload the next video. You know, and if you're watching the Apostles and Elders, you ain't gotta wait long, you know? If you're watching the, the Brothers of GMS, you ain't gotta wait long for another video. Brothers are constantly pumping out videos non stop to edify the elect. Daily edification, as the Apostle Gabar, the other Apostle Gabar likes to say. And that's the last little bit. You can get, um, now go ahead and get me Proverbs 22 and 3. This is Proverbs chapter 22. So, okay. Uh, yeah. We have some technical difficulties. One second, brothers. I got ready for you. This is Proverbs chapter 22, verse 3. A pudent man foreseeth the evil. Mm -hmm. And that word pudent means wise. You know, a wise man foreseeth the evil. Why? Because he's watching, he's standing upon his watch. You know, he's watching videos. He's getting the breakdown of the of the prophecies that are in the scriptures. What? Go ahead. It says, "But the simple pass on." Now read that again. From All right, top. this is Proverbs chapter twenty-two, verse three. A pudent man foreseeth the evil mm -hmm. and hideth himself. Yeah, he's gonna hide himself in the scriptures. You know. He's going to get the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the scriptures. Why? So that man could be stable, you know? He's going to get the understanding, more understanding of, you know, the prophecies, of the different breakdowns, uh, having more faith in the name of Yahweh by Shema Shai. Good. But the simple pass on mm -hmm. and are punished. Yeah, it says, and get Proverbs 1 7, both for sure. But the simple pass on and are punished, you know? It says, um, only this. This is Proverbs chapter 1, verse 7. Mm -hmm. The fear of Yahweh Bashim al Shai is the beginning of knowledge. Mm -hmm. But fools despise wisdom and instruction. Yeah, see, only those that fear Yahweh Bashim al Shai, when they're watching the videos, they hear the, the prophecies that are coming, they hear the times of Jacob's trouble, they're going to fear Yahweh Bashim al Shai. They're going to fear what's coming. So, what? He's going to hide himself in these scriptures. Read that one more time, Proverbs 1 7. This is Proverbs chapter 1, verse 7. The fear of Yahweh by Shimei Awashai is the beginning of knowledge. Mm -hmm. But fools despise wisdom and instruction. Yeah, and read that Proverbs 22, the last part of it again. This is Proverbs 22 and on 3. But the simple pass on and are punished. Yeah, but the simple, the fools that despise the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding the scriptures. The ones that didn't want to get the breakdown, they didn't want to um, take the time out of their day to watch the, um, you know, break down the scriptures, to watch, a, you know, a video that the brother had done. Well, they're going to be taken and punished when the time of Jacob's trouble comes. Slack, yeah. Alright, now give me Isaiah, give me Proverbs 18 and 5, and then we'll close out with Isaiah 33 and 6. Oh, so I can get Psalms 91 and 1. Okay. This is Psalms chapter 91, verse 1. Yep. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High. Mm -hmm. And what's the secret place of the Most High? These scriptures, you know? You know, getting the breakdowns, the proper understanding, you know? Trying to get to, to know you by Shema Shai even better. Good. Start from top. This is Psalms 91 and 1. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High mm -hmm. shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Well, when all hell breaks loose, the Lord is going to take care of you. He's going to protect you, you know? Um, Psalms 91. Yeah, verse, verse two. 2. Verse 2. I will say, Yahweh Bashim al Shai, he is my refuge mm -hmm. and my fortress. Yep, why? Because he's gonna he's gonna read the scripture, you know? He's gonna read he's gonna have that understanding that everyone who trusts Yah by Shema Shah that had faith in Yah by Shema Shah before all hell broke loose, 
that when that time of trouble, the Lord delivered them, you know? Okay. My power. In him will I trust. Yeah, the Lord's our power. It tells you in Exodus 14 and 14 that the Lord, we shall hold our peace and the Lord shall fight for us, you know? The Lord is going to be the one that takes care of us, you know? But what, you got to uh, get into these scriptures, you know? You got to um, show the Lord that you really want him to protect them by trusting in them. Is there any more than that? That's it. Yeah, it says in him will I trust, you know? You trust Yah by Shema Shai and by you trusting them. You're going to do what he says, you know? You can go out there and do the work. You can get breakdowns of the scriptures. You can have faith in that name, you know? You can go um, Proverbs 18 and 5 now. Okay. 18 15, sorry. This is Proverbs chapter 18, verse 15. Mm -hmm. The heart of the pewter get of knowledge. Yeah, the heart of the pewter, the wise, get of knowledge, you know? Go ahead. In the ear of the wise, seek of knowledge. God, in the ear of the wise, seek of knowledge. So if you're a wise man, what? You're going to be seeking the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding the scripture. There's always something to learn, you know? Brothers, learn. we learn in daily, you know? Do a video, the Lord might have you put together a lesson. You didn't even know the scriptures went together, you know? Or you might watch a breakdown of the scriptures, you know? That you, ain't, you, you might get another precept you ain't never heard of, you know? It's, there's always more to learn. So read out from top, Bob, for sure. This is Proverbs 18 and 15. The heart of the pudent get of knowledge. Yep. And the ear of the wise seek of knowledge. Mm -hmm. In the ear of the wise seek of knowledge. Look, because the scriptures say, go back to that rock 6 and go to 33. Go ahead. It says, the, the, read that from top. Just read that Proverbs one more time. Proverbs 18 and 15. The heart of the pudent get of knowledge. Mm -hmm. And the ear of the wise seek of knowledge. The ear of the wise seeker seeketh knowledge. Why? Because you gotta be able to, you gotta hear it to understand knowledge. Here, this rock 6 and 33. Back in rock 6 and 33. If thou love to hear, Thou shall thou shall receive understanding. Yep. So the wise man is gonna be his his ear is gonna be open to knowledge. You know. So if thou love to hear, thou shall receive understanding. You know. But what you gotta get the proper understanding of scriptures. You gotta you know you gotta go to the the leaders of all Israel, our apostles and elders of Great Millstone and the men on down, and the you know camp leaders and the brothers in the camp. You know, of Great Millstone, teaching the doctrine of Yahweh Shai. Be out by Shemel Go ahead. And if thou bow thine ear, thou shalt be wise. Yep. If thou bow down thine ear, you know, take time of your day to listen to watch videos, you know, watch current events, you should be wise, you know. You're not going to be, uh, it says the simple are taken and are punished, you know. And the simple represents two third of our people in this world, you know. Cause they don't want to take time to get this, to get the wisdom. Anyone that's rock six, guys. Yes. Isaiah. Thirty-three six. Yep. We'll close it out. This is Isaiah, chapter thirty-three, verse six. Mm -hmm. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. But so wisdom and knowledge for the scriptures shall be the stability of thy times. You know, a lot of people, a lot of our people are stable with their jobs, and, you know, having, being able to go home, you know, might have a dog you can play with, might, you know, be a person that goes to the gym. A lot of people are stable with that type of lifestyle, but the Lord is about to turn, turn up the heat, you know? It's about to get very uncomfortable here in America, and the only people that are going to be stable is those with the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the scriptures, you know? Good. It says... In the strength of salvation. Yep. The, the fear of Yahweh by Shemashah is his treasure. Yep. In the strength of salvation, you know. In the fear of Yahweh by Shemashah is his treasure. There it is, you know. You got to fear Yahweh by Shemashah. You got to get wisdom while you can. And with all that giving, you got to get understanding. You got anything to say? Yeah, I was going to add on to what you just said. Because you just said that wisdom... Is gonna be what's gonna keep us stable from all hell breaks, basically. Mm -hmm. You see, so 
you know, because this wisdom is gonna keep us stable. That's showing you that this wisdom is the true riches. So this is Proverbs eight and eleven. For wisdom is better than rubies, right? And it ain't talking about the wisdom of this world. It's talking about the wisdom of this King James Bible, this sixteen eleven. This wisdom is better than your rubies. And what's your rubies? Your diamonds, your pearls, your silver, your gold, you know, mm -hmm. your money, and whatever else the case may be. This wisdom is better than rubies. Yeah, because scriptures say you can't buy off the Lord, you know? Mm hmm So this is better in the time of Jacob's trouble. This this is what you're going to be able to cash out with, you know? Yep. Go ahead. And it reads on. So you can't take your rubies and your gold to the Lord and say, save me, you know? Mm -hmm. I don't care if you got bricks of gold. Okay. And the reason, and all the things that may be desired are not to be compared to it. Exactly. So you got to take the time out of your day to get this wisdom, you know? Mm -hmm. It says all the things that can be desired. You know, a lot of people, you might be working, you might desire a raise in your job. Mm -hmm. You might, I mean, all those things are good with perfect balance, but, you know, you got to be getting this wisdom first and foremost, you know? But, you know, with that, Lord's willing, your brothers was edified. You got anything else to say? Before we go any further, we'll give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rekar Kodash, double honor, so apostles and elders, the great millstone, for teaching us the truth, according to the Bible, who rule well, and peace and blessings to all for the nation of Israel. Till next time we say, Shalom. Shalom.